Francesca wrote an eyewitness account of the Easter Rising. She was the granddaughter of Richard Chenevix Trench. She took on the Irish name Sabat Trinchak. She was born Francesca Georgina Chenevix Trench, either 1890 or 1891 in the vicarage of St. John the Baptist Church in Two Brook, Liverpool, England. According to the author, Hilary Pyle's book, it was 1890 that Seska was born. Even though Seska was brought up in a vicarage in Kent, she became a staunch nationalist. She was swept up uh, into the activity, active role in Irish politics in the first months of the Great War. Seska was the granddaughter of Richard Chenevix Trench, uh, the Archbishop of uh, Dublin. Uh, he, um, her mother, Isabella, was, like many of her generation, a unionist. Isabella grew up in the 1860s in a grand villa on a county Offaly estate. If possible, she spent as much of each summer in Ireland. Her parents were both members of the close-knit uh, uh, Trench family. Her father, Herbert Francis Chenevix Trench, also entered the church he was acting as chaplain to his father in Dublin when he met and married his first cousin, Isabella Catherine Trench, 1850-1927. From County Offaly, uh, Seska's father, Herbert Francis, died at age 50 from consumption in 1900. Isabella was left with five children to raise after his death. Seska's siblings were Colonel Arthur Henry Chenevix Trench, Monica Mary, who died at birth, uh, Charles Reginald, Margaret Isabel, known as Margaret, Francesca, known as Seska, Georgina, uh, Herbert Chenevix Trench. Being an artist was not unusual for a trench as there was a strong vein of artistry in the family. Seska, like most creative people, found the Irish countryside a great inspiration, but she was not interested in uh, painting traditional Irish landscapes. She was more towards the figurative and the symbolic. The political situation in Ireland was very much on Seska's mind, and she kept in touch by letter and newspaper eager to get back to Dublin as soon as the home rule question came to a head. Her love for Ireland was obsessive. So she peopled her view with images of Celtic heroes from the past. And with her sister Margaret, they visited Erin Islands to speak Irish, attending the Irish summer school there, uh, the Skull it was called, uh, their interest in the Irish wasn't merely academic. They wanted to hear it revived as Ireland's only spoken language. They also read the exciting new literature of a nation on the verge of freedom. Writers like um, uh, W.B. Yeats, uh, A.E., who is George William Russell, James Stevens, Joseph Campbell, Lady Gregory, and Padre Cullum. While on the islands, Seska sketched endlessly during her visit to the islands in 1912 and 1913. Uh, Francesca, known as Seska, Georgina uh, Chenevix Trench, she married Hugh Dermid James Coffey on April 17, 1918. And of course, uh, um, Seska herself died on October 3rd, 1918. Her husband wanted to be called Dermot instead of Hugh. He was the son of George Coffey and Jane Sophia Francis Lestrange. Seska's artistic interests were towards the figurative and the symbolic. She wanted to paint portraits and thematic pictures and she took her training seriously. She always wanted to learn as much as she could. Seska sent Gaelic Christmas cards and insisted on using Irish-made writing paper. Her parents tolerated her passionate idealism. She invested in one of Dora French's Irish national costumes 
and a note on Dora uh, Frinchuk. She was uh, on the committee of the Conrad Nagelga, which is the Gaelic League, and it promoted the Gaelic revival. The league was founded by Owen McNeil with the support of its first president, Douglas Hyde, in Dublin, July 31st, 1893. Uh, Seska got caught up in the revival, Irish revival, and from age 15 became intensely interested in Irish literature, national politics, and the Irish language. These interests became very uncomfortable for her younger cousin, Elizabeth Bowen, as she recalls in her autobiography about her cousin Seska's penchant for wearing flamboyant Celtic robes of scarlet or green and being somewhat embarrassed by her conspicuous Irishness. Of course, a note on Elizabeth Bowen, who was born in Dublin in 1899, and she died in London in 1973. She wrote novels and short stories, prose style, dealing, uh, detailing uneasy and unfulfilling relationships. Uh, from the Irish Times, um, January 14, 2006, Seska took part in some events during the revolutionary years, 1913 to 1916, and she was a Sinn Féin supporter. She was at the General Post Office during the Easter Rising in 1918, and Seska wrote her diary from 1913 to 1916. Being caught up in the Irish revival, uh, she became very interested in Irish literature, national politics, and the Irish language. Another famous cousin, uh, Samuel Trench, also known as Dermot Trinchuk, whetted Seska's passion for the Irish language. Dermot joined the Gaelic Society while a student at Oxford and became a fluent speaker teaching others enthusiastically, a little too enthusiastically in the view of James Joyce, who grudgingly put up with him as Oliver Gogarty's guest in the Martello Tower in Sandy Cove, Dublin. Joyce would later send up his Oxford inflected revivalism wonderfully in the uh, portrait of the character Haynes in Ulysses. The manuscript notes, notebooks of Seska, according to her biographer Hilary Pyle, are written in Irish, English, and French. The latter language she learned while she was at art school in Paris. The final volume describes at first hand the day-to-day -day events of the rising of 1916 and its aftermath, and it is for this volume and her record of the events that the journal is valued. For nearly 90 years, the notebooks have lain hidden from general view in a box where they were put away with other papers and letters associated with Seska. The political situation in Ireland remained very much on Seska's mind. She kept in touch with what was happening by letter and newspaper. She was eager to be back in Dublin as soon as the home rule question came to a head. Her love for Ireland was obsessive. She peopled her view of history with images of Celtic heroes of the past or those who resisted the foreigner invader in 17th century Ireland. And these are some of her cartoons that came from uh, Hilary Pyle's book. Um, when Seska decided to marry Dermot uh, Coffey, it was uh, Susan Mary Yates, uh, also known as Lily Yates, who helped her with her wedding gown. On April 17, 1918, they married Dermot, she married Dermot, and had their honeymoon in the, in the Kerry Gale Tuct. That October, Seska caught the virulent Spanish flu and she died on October 30th, 1918. She was mourned as uh, Sabbath, Sabbath uh, Trinchuk by the Gaelic.